Hey guys, welcome back to Josh No Code. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to automate Stripe payment notifications. We're gonna be creating a zap that triggers whenever we get a new payment in Stripe, and we're gonna be sending details related to that payment um, over Gmail, and then we're gonna be sending that information via a Slack message. So the most common use case for this zap is that you get a new payment in Stripe, and you wanna send that information to a colleague or you want to store that information um, so i'm going to be showing you how to do that today and specifically what we're going to be covering is i'm going to show you how to set up the payment link on stripe uh, which is a prerequisite then i'm going to show you how to set up the stripe payments trigger and then i'm going to show you how to send the uh, the payment notification via email uh, and slack and the specific data that we're going to be sending from Stripe is going to be the customer name, the charge billing details email, which is the customer email, the payment amount, the created formatted, which is the date of the payment, the status, which tells us whether the payment succeeded or not, and finally, the charge ID. So with that said, I will see you guys in Stripe. Hey guys, so here we are in Stripe looking at the products that we have available. Um, what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to add a new product. So we will navigate to the top here and select the button add product. We're going to want to give our product a name. So I'm just going to call our product peaches. Um, make sure that a product tax category is selected. Uh, it gives you some additional options. Uh, not really relevant right here, but the main thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to give our product a price. So I'm just going to give our product a price of $2, and then we're going to make this a one-time payment. Um, and that's basically it for demo purposes. We're going to want to save this product. And now the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a payment link. So in order to do that, we just scroll down and we select this button, create payment link for this product. And it gives us um, some options on this page to adjust the uh, quantity of the product. We'll just leave that as one. And then some other options down here to collect taxes automatically, uh, collect the addresses of customers and require customers to provide a phone number. So that's not really relevant for us right now. What we're going to want to do is just uh, create the link. So we select the button at the top and now our link is created. So uh, before we could set up, we can set up the trigger. We're going to want to um, make a payment. So we're going to test this out and uh, make a payment. So I'm going to do that right now really quick. I have to uh, just add my phone number to verify my stripe account okay that is done and now i'm going to enter my card details And now we are all set. Okay, so we just made the payment. And now the next thing we're going to want to do is we are going to set up our trigger. Hey guys, we're back in Zapier and we are now going to set up our trigger. So I am just going to search for Stripe and I'm going to add it. And the specific event that we're looking for is we are looking for new payment. Uh, this is an instant trigger. It's going to trigger when a new payment is completed. So we're just going to select that, click on continue and get into our account here. And now it's testing our trigger. So we're going to want to find the payment that we just made um, for an amount of $2. Uh, that This one's not it, it's for an amount of $5. So we're just gonna load up another payment and try to find it. And let's look at this one. And we see the amount is for $2 and we have all the information we need. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's add the action step. 
So let's go to Gmail and let's add some information in a send email step. And this would basically just be the use case that you're sending inf this information to a colleague uh, whenever you have a new payment in Stripe. So get into our account here, click on continue. We're just gonna send this, uh, this email to ourselves. So hello at joshnocode.com. It's gonna be from myself. And for the body, uh, actually for subject first to do, we're just gonna say uh, new customer payment, or I'll just say new payment in Stripe. And then we could just add uh, the charge billing details name, uh, just so we know who it's from, that's always nice. And then we're just gonna add uh, in the body, payment details, And we will now just start adding the information we want from Stripe. So let's just add, you know, customer name, charge billing details name. That's good. Then we'll do uh, the uh, email of the customer. We'll add uh, right here. We'll do the charge billing details email. And the next thing we're going to want to add is, um, you know, amount. And then we will now add the amount and then the create date. So for this one, we have a date that's uh, not very pretty. So we're gonna, going to want to use the format step in order to um, basically uh, make this into a more readable date. So we'll just add a step right after our trigger here to format a date. And now the event we're going to want to select for that is date time. Uh, so we are going to want to transform a, uh, a date. So just go to the format option right here for the date. And for the input, we are going to want to add the created formatted uh, value uh, field. And that's what we want to do. And what I like doing as far as the two format date I like to select the second option here, which is basically a um, month, day, and then year. And it also gives us the time here as well. And I'm going to select Eastern time for the, for the time zone. And that's it. So let's test this action, see if it made the date a little bit more readable. And you can see it, the output is January 6th, uh, this year, 2023. And then it gives us the date of uh, the time on the right side. So that's what we need to do. We're going to go back to our action in Gmail and for the create date. Now we're going to select the output uh, for the format step. And now we have a nice, a, a more readable date, I should say. And then let's add the status because we want to know if our, you know, our payment succeeded or if it failed. So just added that. And then finally, we're going to add the charge ID. So we have the charge ID right here. So add that in and um, that's it as far as the information we want. And now let's test this action out and see if the email got sent. Okay, so we have a new payment uh, in Stripe uh, from the customer name, Joshua Jackson. Uh, you could see that here are the payment details, it says customer name. Here's the name, here's the email, here's for the amount, uh, the nice pretty date we created, the status of the payment and the charge ID. So uh, that's it for Stripe, um, that's it for Gmail. Now let's add another step to send this information uh, via a Slack message. So we are going to choose um, send a direct message for our event select our account um, and for username we're just going to send this to myself for the message uh, we're just going to say you know new new payment in stripe and we're going to do the same thing here you know customer select our customer
Add the email. Add the amount. And then the uh, date. Add the status. And finally, charge ID. And there we go. So let's see if this gets sent. Uh, we are going to send it as a, a, a Slack bot. And let's test it out. Okay. So uh, 445, that's the current time right now. And looks like the information instantly sent. Uh, we have all the information uh, that we want, the customer email, amount, date, uh, status, and the charge ID. And that's it for what we want to do right now. But uh, basically, now that we have the, you know, the this trigger set up and it's working in Stripe, basically, we could send any uh, payment information to any other source, we could add it to sheets, or we could add it to, uh, you know, Airtable, or any other app that we want. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video learned a few things that you could apply to your own um, you know, your own business, your own, uh, workflows. And, you know, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like the content here, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on. Um, and really looking forward to making the next video. Uh, I'm wondering what we're going to do next, but, uh, please let us know your ideas because we're definitely eager to hear it and, uh, do more here. So guys, thanks again for watching.